close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. One more time, deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Now just bring your breathing back to its normal rhythm. Feeling your chest rise and fall gently. Feeling peaceful and calm. Feeling very relaxed. Because with each breath you take, you can feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed. And your body is starting to feel so heavy now, but all snuggly and warm. And you feel so peaceful, so relaxed. And yet you feel so very happy and light and your breathing is almost still. You are so relaxed. Now, imagine yourself sitting in a large green field and the sun is shining brightly and it's a lovely, lovely clear day with just a few little clouds floating by and this also makes you feel very calm very peaceful you look up at the sky you see a beautiful rainbow of many colours and the colours are so bright and so clear Can you see that beautiful rainbow of many colours? You think that you have seen this rainbow before. That's because you have. See how the colours sparkle and shine. See how the colours look almost alive but so beautiful you walk towards this beautiful rainbow and your steps are becoming lighter and lighter all the time it's almost as if you are floating towards it and it feels like your feet and not even touching the floor. You stop at the beginning of the rainbow and because you have been here before you know that you can just step onto it and it will take you straight to Unicornia the land of the unicorns. The rainbow begins to move forward and it also begins to climb. And it climbs higher and higher. You touch the colours of the rainbow and it feels so smooth. What does it feel like to you when you touch the colours of the rainbow? You 
can see pinks and blues. You can see yellows and greens, orange and purple, silver and white. And you can touch every single colour. The rainbow reaches its topmost part and slowly begins to move back down again. And you are sliding down the rainbow now. The rainbow is like a great big water slide with the beautiful colours all around you and you are going faster and faster. And you notice that at the bottom of the rainbow there is a huge trampoline and you remember it from the last time you were here. You hit the trampoline so fast that you bounce right back up again, then back down, then right back up again. And it's fun. So you stop bouncing and jump off the trampoline and land in the squishy, squashy grass. You stand up and you fix your clothes because they're a bit scuffed up. You look ahead of you and you see the huge sign that says, Welcome to Unicornia, Land of the Unicorns. You are so excited and so happy to be back here again. Once again, you see the many unicorns, big ones, small ones, even little chubby ones. And they are all so very beautiful with their very special spiral horns on the center of their heads and they rush up to greet you and you rush up to them. In amongst all of these beautiful unicorns there is one that stands out to you. This is the Princess of Unicornia. The Princess of Unicornia comes forward to greet you. She is very, very beautiful with her silky and shiny coat. And she is so much whiter than the other unicorns. And you see her diamond encrusted spiral horn with pink crystals all around it. You see her beautiful silver mane with pink speckles in it. And you see her silver hooves. The gentle breeze blows across her horn and it produces a beautiful flute-like melody. It's so beautiful. The princess of the unicorns knows that you have had a long journey to get here. And she asks you if you would like a ride on her back. Well, of course, you say yes. You see something about the princess that you didn't notice straight away. You look down to where your legs are resting and you notice that she has wings. She actually has wings. She tells you 
that because she is very young, she didn't used to have wings. But now, she has had a very special birthday. And because of that birthday, she was allowed to grow wings. And she tells you that now she can fly. Wow, the Princess Unicorn can fly. And you can fly with her. She starts to move forward quite quickly. And then she tells you to hold on to her beautiful silver mane of hair. Within a second, her wings spread out and start to gently flap. And you can feel the muscles moving in her body as she gallops faster and faster. Her wings spread out wide and then suddenly she rises into the air, higher and higher, soaring up into the clouds. She is flying and so are you. You feel amazing, so joyful and so very happy. Wow, what an experience. So beautiful up here and you feel so safe and so protected. You look around you and you can see fluffy white clouds everywhere. You can almost touch them. So for a few moments, fly with the princess of the unicorns, enjoying all that you see. Fly over her homeland and see the many beautiful things that you've never seen before. So just fly and have fun.
the Princess Unicorn has shown you many things, but she is tired now. She is still only very young, and she hasn't had her wings for very long. So just like you, she gets tired easily. So she gently flies back down, all the way down, down to the ground. She lands very gently back on the ground. And where she sets down is actually one of her favorite places to rest. She lands just outside a beautiful cave. She falls in her wings and you step down from her back. The two of you walk to the entrance of the cave and she takes you inside. She tells you that this is her very favorite place to be when she gets tired. She tells you that it is her secret place and that only she knows about it. But because you are so special, she has told you too. But it is a secret. Inside the cave are two very big, beautiful beds. And they are covered with the softest quilts and the biggest, fluffiest pillows that you have ever seen. Can you see them? She tells you that she is going to take a nap before she takes you back. She tells you that one of the beds is just for you to rest on. So the Princess Unicorn climbs on her beautiful bed and snuggles down under the wonderful soft quilt. So you think to yourself that, well, maybe you should take a little nap too. Because it is very tiring flying and you did have a long journey to get here. So you too climb up onto the softest bed in the world, your bed. And the quilt is so gentle and so warm on your skin. Oh, so lovely. You lay your head on the big fluffy pillows and you close your eyes. And you feel so peaceful, so relaxed, and so calm. And you think, what a wonderful day you've had. Tiring day, but absolutely wonderful. And your eyes feel so heavy now. And you feel very sleepy so very sleepy and you feel a gentle wave of sleepiness and it starts at your feet and you can feel your toes going to sleep and it feels all warm and tingly and ever so soft You feel this soothing, gentle wave of sleepiness coming up your calves and your shins, through your knees. You can feel it as it goes up your thighs and you think that your legs have gone to sleep. Well, that's because they have. And you feel so very tired now, so sleepy. But so 
so very happy. And it feels like you can't open your eyes, but that's okay. Because you don't want to open your eyes. You want to keep them closed. And you want to drift off into a beautiful sleep. And this beautiful wave of sleepiness travels all the way up your body, down your arms and into your hands, making your body feel very, very heavy, very, very tired, but most of all, very, very sleepy and you yawn just a little bit this gentle warm wave of sleepiness travels up your face and over the top of your head and then down the back of your neck oh you feel so tired so, so sleepy now. And you feel nice and warm and so snuggly under your beautiful soft quilt and very fluffy squidgy pillows. So just have a little sleep just a little sleep because you can always travel home with the princess unicorn later on Close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a big deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. One last time, deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Just feel the gentle rhythm of your breath. Feel a steady beat of your heart Take a moment to just listen to your heartbeat. Feel a gentle rise and fall of your chest as it moves in time with your heartbeat. That strong heart. And with each beat of your heart, you feel more and more relaxed, more and more calm, and more and more peaceful. And every time you breathe in, you are breathing in deep relaxation. And it's making you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Now tense up your whole body really tightly and hold it just for a second and now let it go.
feel your legs going limp and soft as your muscles relax. Feel your whole body softening as you gently relax. So one more time, tighten up all of the muscles in your body, really, really tightening. Pull your hands into fists and hold for just a second. Now let it go. That's really, really good. Well done. You are now so relaxed that your whole body is still. So very still and so very very heavy and your body is so relaxed now that you can't move any part of it even if you wanted to but that's okay because you don't want to now imagine that you are on a platform of a very old railway station. And in your hand, you find that you have a very special ticket, a golden ticket. So you take a good look at the ticket to see what it says. The destination on your ticket says, Dreamland. And you wonder where that is. But it sounds like quite a cool place. So you think to yourself, okay, why not? You look around you and you see a few other people. Some of them are just standing on the platform. Some of them are sitting down reading newspapers but all of them look very tired and very sleepy and you feel a bit sleepy too you look up at the big old station clock to see what time it is what time is it You look around the station and you notice that it's a very old fashioned place and it kind of looks like you've gone back in time. It looks like an old Victorian station and it feels very comfortable and very nice. As you wait for your train to arrive you notice that the sun is starting to sink just a little bit lower in the sky. You can hear the whistle of the train as it gets closer. And you can just about see it further along the track. You can see the great big puffs of steam as the train starts to slow down and you can hear the whistle blowing again to signal its arrival only this time it's a lot louder you turn now at the sound of the train pulling into the station it's a very old steam train and it makes that kind of hissing sound that only steam trains can make. The sound of the steam billowing out of the funnel and around the wheels. And the train quietly comes to a stop. You look at this beautiful train 
It's very old and kind of worn in places, but you don't mind. You open the carriage door and climb aboard. This train is not like the newer trains of today. It's also a very special train. You walk along the tiny corridor until you come to your compartment. You open the door and step inside. There is no one else there at the moment. So you find yourself a nice comfortable place by the window and sit down. After a few minutes, the whistle of the train begins to blow again to signal that the train is about to move. And you can hear the slamming of the doors one by one. You hear a second whistle blow and the train slowly begins to lurch forward. You can hear the chugging of the engine as it burns the coal on the fire that's making the train move. The train begins to move out of the station, picking up speed as it goes. The wheels squeal a bit on the tracks, but the train keeps on moving. You settle back in your seat and look out of the window. You can see lots of things looking out of the window. You can see the trees in the distance. And you pass by many open fields. Some of them even have sheep and cows in them. And when you look a little bit further, you can even see the misty mountains as you pass by. You realise you are passing through another station. That didn't take long at all. And as you pass through, you see a signpost with the name of the station on it. And this station is called Slumberland. What an odd name for a station. The train doesn't stop even though you see a few people just sitting there. It just keeps on moving. You continue looking out of the window, wondering what else you may see. After a little while, you begin to feel a bit sleepy. You notice that the sun has nearly set, but not quite yet. You see more images passing by the window. What do you see?
you notice that you are passing through another station and the train doesn't stop. You manage to see the name of the station though as you pass through. And this station is called Sleepyville. There is no one waiting on the platform. No one at all. You continue to look out of the window, feeling so very sleepy now. The motion of the train and the sound of the choke, choke, choking is starting to lull you to sleep. When you got on the train a lot earlier, it was daylight, but now the sky looks quite dark and it's getting darker all the time. The lights have come on on the train and it looks really cozy and warm now. But you can't see much out of the windows. Just the odd light in the distance as you pass by. And you can just about see the darker shadows of the misty mountains as the last of the daylight sky disappears. But they too are slowly fading fast now. The closer you get to your destination, called Dreamland, the more and more tired you become. So very sleepy now. Your body is starting to feel quite heavy. And as you look out of the window, you begin to see shooting stars flying across the night sky. You can see lots of them and they look really beautiful. And you wonder, where are they coming from? You pass through the final station. You just whiz by this one. The signpost says that this one is called Pillow Palace. And you think that they really do have some strange names for some of these stations. As you sit there looking out of the window at the shooting stars, you feel a strange sensation. It feels like the train is rising into the air. But that can't be right, surely. You look out of the window again and you see that the lights you could see in the distance earlier are now beneath you. You are now looking down on them and they are getting smaller and smaller as the train rises higher and higher. You can still hear the train as it chuck chuck chucks over the tracks. But you realize that the tracks are now high up in the clouds. As you look out of the window, you see the beautiful glowing moon it's almost an orange colour, a very warm and very inviting colour. All of the stars are out now too, shining brightly and so very beautifully. And you feel so very tired now, so very, very sleepy. Your whole body is perfectly calm and relaxed and so ready for sleep. Your eyes 
They're so heavy. So you close them, just for a little while. Imagine all of the thoughts in your head are just dissolving away. Imagine that any thoughts that may be still trapped inside are just floating away up to the stars. And they do find their way into the beautiful starry sky above you. And then they just drift out of sight. Soon you'll be sound asleep, off on a peaceful journey to dreamland that will carry you all the way through until morning. As you slowly drift off to sleep, the train gently starts to slow down and it slowly and peacefully chokes into the station. And this station is called Dreamland. But you don't notice this because you can't open your eyes anyway. But that's okay, because you don't need to open them. Dreamland is the place where beautiful dreams come true. Dreamland is a place of peace and safety, just for you. Make yourself comfortable in your favorite position for sleeping and just close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath and then just let it go. Take another slow, deep breath and breathe out any tension in your body. One more time. Slow, deep breath. And then just let it go. And all there is to do is just relax and rest. You are standing in front of a very sleepy looking cottage. It's evening time and the sun is starting to set. The light blue sky is beginning to glow with yellow and pink colours. Can you see it? Can you see the beautiful sky?
you open the door of your cottage and you go inside. And inside there is a large fireplace with a crackling fire sending a lovely warm glow all around the room. And you can hear the logs cracking in the flames. And you can smell that aroma that only burning logs can have. Can you smell it? Can you smell the logs burning? Can you hear them cracking? You see a very comfy looking sofa in front of the fire. So you sit down on it and it feels all cosy and snuggly with big deep cushions that you can just sink into. Oh, nice. You can hear the wind and the rain outside your cottage, but it doesn't bother you at all because you are here in this beautiful, warm and friendly place feeling ever so welcome. You notice that there are big squishy slippers on the floor by the sofa and you put them on. Oh, they feel so nice and snuggly. There is even a great big cushion for you to rest your head on. As you look around the room, you notice that it is full of all of your favourite things. Everything about this room feels just right for you. Just the right furniture too. And the lighting is perfect. Just the way you like it. There is a table next to the sofa. And on it is your favourite book, the one you love to read the most. There is also a nice warm drink sitting next to the book and it's just for you. So take a few moments to look around the room, checking out your favourite things. Maybe have a little read of your book and definitely Taste your warm drink. It is so peaceful here. Here you have no worries. 
and no stresses of any kind. You are beginning to feel a little bit sleepy now. So you decide to lie down on the lovely, comfy sofa. And you know that this is a place where you can sleep as much as you want to, anytime you need to. So you lay your head on the big, squishy cushion. You see a nice, soft, fluffy blanket draped over the back of the sofa and you pull it over yourself and you snuggle down, feeling your body relaxing from your busy, busy day. So beginning with your feet, allow them to relax and go a little bit floppy. They've worked hard all day and they deserve a rest. Now tense all of the muscles in your body, including your head and your neck. And hold that tension as tight as you can. Hold it tight now. And relax. Let your whole body go limp. And again, tense up all of the muscles in your body, including your head and your neck. Hold that tension as tight as you can. Hold it really, really tight. And relax. Let your whole body go limp again. How does your body feel right now? You are now so relaxed that your whole body is still. So very still and so very heavy. Your body is so relaxed that you cannot move any part of it even if you wanted to. But that's really okay because you don't want to and you don't need to. Now, your whole body is perfectly calm, perfectly relaxed and ready for sleep. And your eyes are so very heavy now, you can't open them. So imagine that the very top of your head opens up and out float any thoughts that might still be trapped inside and you watch them as they find their way into the beautiful starry night sky far above you and then they just drift out of sight now close the top of your head Soon, you'll be sound asleep, off on a peaceful journey into dreamland that will carry you all the way through until morning. So as you continue to listen to the rain outside, you feel so sleepy, so very, very sleepy so very tired but when you wake up in the morning you will feel so bright so alert you will feel so refreshed and ready 
to begin the new day ahead. Close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a big deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. One last time, deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Feel a gentle rhythm of your breath Feel a steady beat of your heart. Take a moment to listen to your heartbeat. Feel a gentle rise and fall of your chest as it moves in time with your heartbeat. And with each beat of your heart, you feel more and more relaxed, more and more calm, and more and more peaceful. And every time you breathe in, you are breathing in deep relaxation, making you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Now tense up your whole body really tightly and hold it tight for just a few seconds and let go. Feel your legs going limp and soft as your muscles relax. Feel your whole body softening as you gently relax. One more time, tighten up all of your muscles really, really tightly. Ball your hands into fists and hold it for just a few seconds and let go. That's good. Really, really good. Well done. You are now so relaxed that your whole body is still. So very still and so very heavy. And your body is so relaxed now that you can't move any part of it, even if you wanted to. But that's okay, because you don't want to. Now, imagine that you are lying on the biggest, softest bed you have ever seen. And it's all warm and snuggly. And that's because it's made from feathers. Thousands and thousands of white angel feathers. 
The angels gave you these feathers so that you could have the best night's sleep ever. The pillow is made from angel feathers too, and it feels so soft and so gentle on your face. And your head just sinks so deeply into it. The softness of the pillow is so comforting to you, so gentle and so warm. The sheet you are lying on is made of the finest cotton and it feels very smooth on your skin. The quilt that's covering you is so squishy and so nice. It wraps itself all around you, keeping you warm and safe. And there is a lovely light aroma of lavender, making you feel ever so sleepy. Now feel your body sinking deeper and deeper into this beautiful bed. Feel your legs and your feet slowly being surrounded with the wonderfully soft angel feathers. Feel your arms and your hands sinking deeper and deeper into the whole of this beautiful bed. And your whole body is being wrapped in the beautiful angel feathers. You feel so safe. You feel so loved. And you feel so very protected. Can you feel it? Can you feel how loved you are? How safe you are? How protected you are. And your eyes feel so heavy now. So tired. So deeply relaxed. Ready for sleep. Now imagine that there is a beautiful ball of blue light a few inches above your head. And this ball of blue light sways so very gently from side to side. And as it moves, it starts to grow larger. And you notice that inside of this beautiful ball of blue light, there appears to be tiny, twinkling little stars lots of them and as you look at the tiny little stars you see that the beautiful ball of blue light has become even larger and it started to move downwards over your body and this amazing blue light has grown so large now that it's bigger than your whole body and as you watch the ball of sleepy blue light covers your body and you can feel the silkiness of the light as it touches your skin and it feels so very warm and gentle and it makes you feel ever so safe can you feel it This beautiful ball of blue light surrounds your whole body and it's under your feet and it's above your head and it's like you're in a cocoon of wonderful sleepy blue light. As you lay there, cocooned in this wonderful blue light, you feel so very peaceful and calm, and you feel so safe and so protected. And it makes you feel so sleepy. 
so sleepy that you cannot open your eyes. But that's okay, because you don't want to open your eyes. You don't need to open your eyes. So just lay there and let this amazing blue light help you to sleep. You can hear wonderful sounds of beautiful music in the distance. And you are drifting deeper and deeper into the most wonderful night's sleep you have ever had. So turn now over onto your side and snuggle down. You feel so safe, so protected. And when you wake in the morning, you will feel completely refreshed, so bright and alert and ready to begin the new day ahead. And each night from now on, you will sleep better and better and deeper and deeper. Rest your weary head and just sleep.